Good morning, El Segundo. It's Mayor Drew Boyles with the COVID-19 update, May 12th at 11 a.m. In El Segundo, we remain steady at 30 confirmed cases. In Los Angeles County, we're now at 32,258 cases, which is up 581 from the day prior, with 1,569 deaths, which is up 39 from the day prior. Now, we've gotten questions about the numbers that are reported. In some cases, the numbers in L.A. County, for example, are greater from the day prior than California. If you look at the column in the far right, and this is up on our website, it shows the source of the data at a specific point in time. All government agencies are not perfectly aligned in their timing of reporting numbers. Some right, might report earlier in the day, and therefore those numbers aren't being updated all the way up through the state and potentially through the country as well. So please pay attention to our numbers in the counties. We'll do the best to get you the most accurate information as we have it. Today, the city of El Segundo will be hosting its third virtual town hall at 2 p.m. to answer COVID-19 related questions. We've got a great panel. The presenters include Council Member Carol Perstuk, Council Member Scott Nickel, Barbara Voss, who's our Deputy City Manager and also in charge of economic development, Dr. Cohen, who is the Medical Director for the city of El Segundo, Bill Whalen, our Chief of Police, Meredith Pettit, our Director of Recreation and Parks, and finally, Lieutenant Jeff Lehman, who's the Incident Commander for the All Hazards Incident Management Team. So tune in at 2 p.m. We've received a lot of questions and those will be addressed during that virtual town hall. The LA County Department of Public Health is expected to amend the Safer, Safer at Home order to allow beaches to reopen tomorrow for active use only. Surfing, swimming, walking, or running will be allowed as of tomorrow. As a reminder, the bike pass and the strand will be closed until further notice. I know people aren't happy about that, but that's the reality that we're faced with. Physical distancing will be required as well as face covers, uh, face covers when not in the water. And so it's good news. It's not quite what we want, of course, but it's, it's movement, it's progress. Stay, stay safe, El Segundo. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye now.